Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I'm David in Arc. Today I'm going to show you how to take your Zoom videos and upload those into your Google Classroom. So uh, after you've recorded your uh, Zoom session, then uh, those are located in Documents. So when you go to Documents, then you'll have to look for the Zoom folder and you'll double click on the Zoom folder. And when you open that up, all of your sessions will be listed. Uh, the, the file names are listed by the date they were recorded, so hopefully uh, it'll be easy to find. But also, they have the name of the session as well. So again, should uh, help that make it uh, easier to find. Double-click the session you want, and you'll see several files in there, one of which should be zoom underscore zero. Now, you may or may not see the little MP4 at the end. That's okay. You're looking for zoom underscore zero. And the first thing I would do is I would actually rename it. So if you right-click on the file, drop down to rename, then you can rename this file something that's going to make much more sense for you. So I'm just going to call this science demo 01. And then uh, when I click off now, it's been renamed. So at that point, you can either drag that to your desktop if you want to, um, just simply by uh, holding your mouse on it and dragging it over to desktop. Uh, as you can see over on the left, I have a desktop icon there if I wanted to, or you can just simply remember where it is. Um, to me, that's easier because they all go to the Zoom folder anyhow, so that's what I do with that. But the big thing is to remember where it is. So then you want to jump over to your Google Classroom, and in Google Classroom, you can either add the video here to your stream if you want to add it as a stream item, or what I generally would recommend is that you create it either as an assignment or as general material for your classroom. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to give a title to either the material or the assignment, depending on how you're putting it in. So uh, if you want to put a description, you can do a description. Then you're going to click the little paper clip, click on file, and then here you're going to click on browse to your computer. You're going to go to documents jump down to the Zoom folder, double click it, double click the folder you were just working in, and there you see the file that you had renamed, double click it, it shows up in your upload list, and you hit upload. Once you do that, it will start to upload the file into your Google Classroom environment. Now, depending on how fast or slow your internet is, that's going to determine uh, how long it takes. In addition to that, it also depends on how long the video is. So if you're uploading a 45-minute video, it's going to take it a little while before uh, it uploads that video. Uh, in my particular case, I actually have a very short video I'm uploading. However, my internet is slow, so it's taking quite a while. So again, depending on how long the video is and how fast your internet is, that's those are the things that will determine how long it takes to upload one of your Zoom videos. Honestly, your best bet is just trial and error, grab a file, upload it, and see how long it takes. Um, and then once it reaches that 100% mark, then the file is uploaded, and you see that it is now attached to this uh, material section here. And now I can do whatever I want to that I would normally do with materials or assignments. I can assign it to different classes, assign it to particular students. I can assign topics if I want to do topics. I can schedule it for later. I can save it as a draft. Or I can simply just hit post, and it posts that item to my uh, list here as a material or assignment depending on what you picked. So there you go. Easy peasy. Uh, feel free to pause, rewind, watch, take notes, all that kind of good stuff here. Thank you so much. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. Hope this was helpful. We will see you next time.